For this video, we're just going to make a DC sweep. So add a DC voltage source. And then we're going to add a resistor, actually two resistors. You can measure the voltage drop across them. Dry your wires to connect them. Add some arbitrary values, uh, like three or five, okay. And then add your ground. And then go up to new simulation profile, and we're just going to call it sweep. And then in the analysis type, just make sure you select DC sweep. And then we have to select our voltage source. So for the name of it, you just choose the name of your source. So in this case, we have V1 as our voltage. And then the start value will start at 0 volts and sweep up to 10 volts. Then you have to add an increment, and here we'll increment 0 0.01 volts. So at every 0 0.01 volts, it'll take a measurement. And then that looks good, so it apply. And OK. And then we're just going to add some bias names for our input voltage. So I'm going to name this one V in at our input voltage, and then another one for V out at our output voltage. And when they're named, you can hit play to run. And it will bring it up in another window. You might have to select it at the bottom. Then we're going to add our traces. So you add a trace. Uh, make sure you have your everything deselected so you can see just the voltages that we're looking at, but you can select currents. And then in your voltage, select V in. OK, and that'll plot our V input from 0 to 10 volts over time. And then we're going to add the other trace. So go back to add trace. Select our V out, hit OK, and there's our V output. You can go to access settings and change some parameters in here to how it's labeled. Another way to plot the voltages is just use your little meter and then put it right on the line, V1 or V2. And you can just hit play, and it'll automatically plot your points. You can see the yellow one is correlated to the yellow probe, and the purple one is your purple probe. It's your V in and V out. So it's a little bit easier. You don't have to add trace.